guys, how are we doing? Welcome back to a brand new video. Simon down here at Burford Golf Lab. New video. Haven't hit a standard driver for a long time, mainly because it's just been spinning too much and obviously I've been doing a lot of practice my own long drive stuff. However, I saw a video on Randy's channel, Friday's Golf, where he hit balls with Vaseline on the face and he got silly low launch, low spin numbers. And that's the kind of thing that kills my distance with standard length drivers because they're too lofted and the shafts aren't stiff enough, therefore the ball doesn't go as far as I want it to go. So, how far can I hit a driver? I'm gonna use a Ping G400 with a uh, 6.5 has the shaft in it, but with this over it. How far will the ball go when there's very little friction on the face? Guys, if you like this video, leave it a like. As always, please subscribe, and I'm gonna hit a few balls, just standard, no Vaseline. Then I'm gonna cover it, see if we can get, I'd like to feel I can get 380, hopefully. We'll see. Guys, let's do it. Okay, time to get warmed up. Standard length driver, Ping G400 LST, big fan of the head. Um, lofted down to seven and a half, standard um, stiff shaft, hazardous 6.0, blah, de blah, de blah, de blah. Ball goes very high, but that's more my mechanics, if anything. Um, and hopefully this video emphasizes how important spin rate is, how, why every manufacturer wants spin been a reduction, low spin, because it means the boys on tour are gonna hit it further. Three and a half thousand, by the way, that was, um, which is very high, and you're just gonna lose distance from that. And hopefully, when we put the Vaseline on, you can see the dramatic, even though the ball speed, I'm not swinging any faster, even though the um, ball speed sometimes is even lower, the ball goes further, further purely because spin rates down, which means it's going forward rather than climbing. And also when it hits the ground, it also means that it's just gonna keep trundling on. So a few more shots. I think this is the best one out of the warm up session. I think I've got ball speed up to about 183 with a few of them. Um, this was 181 um, and yeah, I couldn't really hit it that much better than that. That's straight out of the middle. But again, you can see how colossally high this ball was going. And then even though it's pitching at about 290, it only runs out to about 312. So. That's where we are with a standard driver. Time to lube this bad boy up. So I didn't know how much, how, how much to actually put on, to be honest. Um, so I just went thin layer and just kept adding more as we went on. Just seeing how um, much it affects the ball. How much will the spin reduce depending on how much we've got it on the face. So I started off thin and I kept replying every two, three shots because it kind of wore away. And um, yeah, there it is, nice and shiny. Um, this is definitely not legal in competition, but your playing partner is ever gonna stop you or check what you're doing with your driver face? Don't know, I don't know if you're even that bothered. Is anyone still watching this video? Who knows? So you can see all of a sudden, even though I pull it massively to the left-hand side, how much lower that ball flight is. And all of a sudden, even though that ball speed's down to like 174, ball's going so much further. And you can see it wants to hit the ground and you can see that it wants to just chase after it as well. So I guess what I'm trying to say um, uh, is numbers are more important in terms of like launch and spin than ball speed altogether. If you can get a good launch and spin rate combination, your ball's gonna go a lot further, um, uh, opposed to obviously pure ball speed. And obviously every driver manufacturer out there is talking about ball speed. Yes, that does make a difference. However, these are more important. So all of a sudden you can see we're starting to carry it even further. If I could hit it in the fairway, we might be able to get a fair test in a minute. So I think I got hold of this one. Finally, I actually hit one out in the middle and hit it straight. Um, I wasn't really going after it full yet. That's what comes in a minute. But this was the best combination. And I didn't get abundance of time to play about with this. But you can see all of a sudden um, uh, the difference in distance, especially when I got hold of it. So that's only 178 in terms of ball speed. So not the highest, but because it's down to the 2000s, all of a sudden you can see how much further the ball's then going. I've gone a good run now. I started getting a hold of it. Started giving it a tiny bit more. You got a bit more confident. I didn't quite know what it was going to do when it was coming out in the middle. But again, the launch is high, but you can see all of a sudden, especially when it's hitting the deck, it's just going so much further. And you get so much more distance, and that is purely down to a reduction in the spin. I'm not swinging any faster. The ball speed's not even up. Um, uh, so then we went to the double layer. Double layer of Vaseline. You know he means business. You know he's serious. I think this is PB of the day. I actually put two gloves on because, funnily enough, you put Vaseline on your hands. Your hands become very slippery, and I didn't want to throw this driver through the screen. <laughs> you can see I'm, what a douche, literally walking up to the screen. 
but I knew it was good as soon as I hit it. Um, I think this was the PB. You'll see why I didn't spend much time um, after this one hitting it in a minute as we had a bit of a blooper at the end, but spin rate down to 1.7, ball speed up in the low 180s. And again, that's why the ball was going so much further. So Vaseline definitely improves in distance. There's no question about it. Obviously, if you're someone that can't really get the ball airborne anyway, this is um, uh, not to be suggested, not that you could take this out in play um, uh, in competition regardless. But if you're someone that spins the ball quite a lot, for example, it's definitely a way of showing you how far the ball can go. If you've got your spin numbers down to a normal um, uh, range, like the 2000s, you spin it in the 4000s, 3000s, if you were to put Vaseline on the face, you'd get some idea of how far a ball would go if you were fitted for a driver properly. As I say, it's not the technology, but it's more of getting that combination of spin, backspin, um, and as well as ball speed at launch. That's really the combination. Last one, I think I got hard of this one. I think this is probably the closest or the hardest I could possibly hit it in terms of 183 ball speed. Um, and again, you can see how much more penetrating it is. So hopefully one of the manufacturers will bring out a spray that you can put on your face. But in the meantime, enjoy uh, this blooper at the end. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it's dangerous, isn't it? Yeah, we're cool that one today. <laughs> 